Today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step process of how I fill in the gaps that I've scratched to make them look kind of like this. So the first step is going to be to scratch out the paint that we have inside already. We're going to replace it with some acrylic paint which will hopefully make the colour pop a lot more and make the colour a lot more similar to the actual frame. If you want to see how I got to this point, I made a video showing how I added this paint pen and used these tools to scratch out the little scratches I have in here. Okay, so I've got rid of as much paint as we need to now. Next, we're going to be using this, probably the smallest paintbrush in the world. Compared to a normal paintbrush, this is how it looks. This is so that we can fit into the little cracks of the R logo. This may not look finished, but this is how I'm going to leave it and later I'm going to use one of my scissors just to, to carve out a nice shape out of the paint. Now it's time to get on to these other scratches. Okay, so now it's all painted. And it looks terrible, but it won't soon. I'm gonna give it like an hour and then I'll come back and scratch away the paint. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've left the paint dry for a couple of hours now. So everything should be nice and easy to scratch away. So I'm gonna be using the same tool that I used to scratch out the grooves in here to take away the excess paint so it doesn't look terrible as it does right now. I'll also need to paint this because I forgot to do that when I was painting. So that's how I did it guys. Here are the sunglasses on me. These are the ones we just made. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're excited to see more. I'd really love to hear your guys' suggestions. So if you have anything, I literally mean anything you want to know about how I started this or how I'm doing what I'm doing now, put it in the comments. I do read every single one. I will definitely reply to you to see if I could do that in a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.